welding. Well, as you know, if you've seen all my welding, and for some reason, it's been plumbing rubbish. The last oh, two years, I seem to have struggled. I treat my to a mask because I was doing all, well, I'm, I'm making these clocks and lamps now, aren't I? But I thought I'd been making a lot of them little ornament things. And I've used my little welder more probably this year than for a long time. And I had a large pack of rods. I had to get, oh, must be 20 years ago, I think. And uh, that little welder, you know, it does work. It works well. Anyway, the other thing to tell you, which I've told one or two you know, but anyway, I've got another Vado, like my original one. I put the original case on it. It's got a little plastic case, and I put it on and uh, tried it, and I've noted that the I can get closer up than I can with this one. You know, and I, I put the old case on because, of course, it's got that Velcro on. I've tried it in the car, and it's got rid of that annoying rattle. So I suppose that's a bonus, isn't it? You know. Anyway, what I'm aiming to do, I, what happened is, I ran out welding rods, and so I got some new ones. And they're slightly different, but um, I had a pack about this size, and that, oh, it must be 20 years ago. And it, they are slightly different because these are, well, I can't, I can't read it and you definitely won't be able to see it, especially on here, but it hit me out my glasses. But anyway, uh, they're dry. I've kept them dry. But, you know, I'm not sure if the flux haven't gone off a bit. Because you've seen how I've struggled to, to get the flux off. Anyway. Um, and I, by the way, just to show you, I, I set the camera up next to another mask and I couldn't see anything and I've tried holding it in there and I still couldn't see much anyway what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a bit of pad belt welding which is building up now because of my job I'll tell you all about it in a bit, right? You can watch me welding, and while you're watching me welding, um, I'll I'll tell you what I've been doing. That's the best way, isn't it? So I've had a look, and you won't see a lot on this camera. I'll just set it up there. I've done a bit of it, look. See? Now, the rods I'm using, that come in that packet there, what I know is 12, but I've just had to find out that uh, the 2.4 mil, because I, you know, it's so long ago I've gotten, and I work in inches still. Don't I? I'm old fashioned. Anyway, it says uh, SIF rod 6013. That's what they are. But I, if you noticed how the slag comes off, it's supposed to like that. That's how it's supposed to work. Not tap about and have all the holes like the other one was. So I'll just do a bit more. As I say, we'll do just two or three bits just to show you. And then, as I say, I'll um, I'll try and fill the video in and, and tell you what's happening. Well, I've had to rethink this video. I was going to talk over it and that, but it's not going to work. Right, so anyway, as you can see, that's not too bad, is it? You know, 
So I'll tell you why and how. <coughs> so we'll have to do that now. And I've done one or two more little test pieces. I've cleaned uh, those bits up. So we'll just show you how to weld those. And hopefully it'll be alright. They're a bit thin. I, I would have preferred some doubly thick. But I think we'll be alright with them. Anyway. What it is. I am a welding is my profession. I'm not a coded welder. But uh, I'm an agro engineer. That's what I was trained to do. And uh, I had to do something like this for an exam at college. You know. And what it is. I didn't done any more. But uh, years ago, the plowshares wore out on the front and have to be changed. Nowadays they'll stick new ones on, no doubt. But what we had to do was build them up with weld on the front where they'd worn down. And another way was to get a piece of, this is about, what's that, two and a half inch, three inch, I've got a ruler, but two and a half, I think. Uh, you've got a ruler, you, that, that's an inch, your thumb. Top of your thumb is an inch, so you've got a rule. Um, and we used to cut them off with a gas, slice them off with the oxyacetylene, and weld a bit of two inch spring steel on the front. And that was my job when I was, you know, 17 to 20, like, you know. And I spent days welding. And the thing is, I must have brought this about, I'm so fed up with showing rubbish welding. You know, I haven't got one bit of video of decent welding. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And you saw me car welding where they'd, well, <coughs> I don't know if he'd sabotaged it or not, but I didn't even know a spot welder had a, blimey, uh, sorry, a MIG welder had a spot welder on it. So that was one thing that, uh, <laughs> that was the reason, that was one of the reasons it was rubbish. Plus, I'm all right outside, I found you need light on it because um, I picked up a welder and these are the tools you need by the way, you need a chipping hammer with these to get the slag off. And the slag is there because you've got to have this protective coating on the rods, right? The flux on the rods, it creates a gas. That's why in MIG welders you use CO2 or argon, you know, because you've got to have that to get a decent weld. So anyway, while I'm setting this up, we'll tell you a little bit about the the other, right, about the rest of it. I'm sorry if it's bitting and bobbing, but anyway, <clears throat> so part of my job as an agriculture engineer, which I went to college for, for a year, and then back for two months, three times, and part of that was welding. And uh, I've got a clamp here. So, you know, and what happened was, my father, one thing he did teach me, well two things, he taught me how to drive and how to weld, and they're the, my two main natural skills, so I suppose that's why we got on doing that. Anyway, that's hot. they haven't got a square end, not that it matters. Not that it matters. Anyway, uh, about 14, and he said, here, yeah, I'll show you how to weld. And he did just that, stood behind me and showed me how to weld with very similar rods to these and a oil cooled small electric arc welder. And uh, to, I had a bit of, you know, I had a bit of a go and a bit of a practice. What have I done with those? I brought some mole grips down somewhere, got some mole grips to clamp that on. Because what you've got to do is get everything in the right place over here. So you've got to get everything in the right place and be organised, which as you know I barely am, so... Right, so we clamp that down. Now my welding table is improvised, as you see, but it works. So I've got the earth on it, and that's it. So that should be flat on there. So the first thing you have to do is tack it. Right, if you're doing two pieces together, you have to tack them together. And I don't think we've got the welder too hot for burning through. We'll know when we do. Anyway, let's just see how this goes. I've got the camera looking at it, and it's still switched on. I must edit this video because it's going to be miles too long now. I was hoping to just show a bit of welding and 
talk over it, but it, we're not going to be able to do that. So I'm going to have to edit bits of it. Anyway, what you do is put two tacks on. Now I've got that by the way, we always strike on something. Okay, get the rug going and then go. So using that mound I've made and after that mound, but use it as a striking plate and start rolling it. So what you have to do is tap the ends. My walls will always have a bit of splatter and never be, you know, I knew in wing competition, my father won competition, Roxy Settling World, and he was brilliant, but no, I can never do it much free and I think you know that. So, because we're getting plenty of video, I'll stop there, I'll leave that one. I might just do a little bit on the other side actually. Because it's got to be easy, isn't it? Because we've got it set up like that, we will just try a bit on the other side. The other thing of course with stick welding, when your welding rod runs out you've got to stop anyway, so you know, sometimes you have to stop and start, so it's not a problem. Right, I'll show you a bit closer in a minute, but get it cool traction. If you just tap it like that, you can see the camera a bit like that, but like I said, I'll do a bit of straight this neatest welder, but I think that's plenty to see, to show you. But look, it's, it's got good penetration, and it's nice and flat, and it's fairly neat, isn't it? So, that'll probably be enough, actually. I've done something I've never done on video before and that's a half decent bit of welding look you know I mean I'm looking at the screen now so I can see it properly and well there's no wrong with that is there so I can weld still I'm getting down myself. 